Happy Monday! And welcome to the morning catch up. So, a lot of news in these episodes, a lot of tips for T4, Westphalia, California, T3, whatever you got, owners from us. Yeah, and we also have some moments from the Cornish countryside. And as you can see, we're still in the workshop with Mark. Uh, we had some. Mark and Mark. Mark and Mark. <laughs> we had some uh, problems. Not hiccups. Hiccups. Uh, but we're gonna tell you about in a second. I'm Armando. I'm Mal. This is Ziggy. That's our home. And welcome to our weekly catch up. <laughs> a blonde goes to the mechanic with her BMW and uh, she asks, Can you please take a look? Uh, seems that something is not working properly. And the mechanic says, No problem, just give me a couple minutes. And a couple minutes later, she went back to the mechanic and said, so is my car fine? And the mechanic goes like, yeah, just crap in the carburetor. And she looked at the mechanic, so how often should I do it? <laughs> Be natural. Um. <laughs> Good right. Monday morning. <laughs> That's the way we would like to cheer up your Monday morning. We do want to shout out, there was a 10th birthday this week. Yes, but I don't remember the name. <laughs> Menina. Menina, yeah, that's team. I think, I'm, I'm sorry about pronunciation, but yeah. happy 10 years. That's team uh, Younger's daughter. Uh, yeah, so happy birthday. Uh, a little bit late, but better late than never. You know. Good morning and welcome to the Monday Catch-Up. First tip we got, so we are not here just to uh, fix the van, but it's still not fixed, but we take, let's say, the advantage of being in a workshop to do some upgrades on Mork. The first one, it's a, a thing that I'm thinking from several years probably, I want to upgrade to get rid of the camping gas because they're so expensive. We spent probably 150 euro just in the last five months in mm. UK to buy a small three liter uh, bottle. And uh, so what we did, we found on eBay for 140 pounds, an old but still working gas tank for the T25. So we order, uh, we pay, I think it was 15 euro for the courier, plus uh, probably around 20 pounds, uh, just beats and bobs and hoses and, and pipes. Well, and, and you guys, you guys like shaved it down and cleaned it yeah, up. Yeah, I grind yeah, it yeah. because it was full of rust, so I grind it, I put some zinc on it, I spray with black. So now the gas tank is installed, uh, tomorrow we're gonna... The gas tank had kind of a spa treatment. <laughs> yeah, because with that it's not just for the kitchen and to spend less and to have even more gas because it's 20 liter instead of 3 that we usually have on the small camping gas bottle. We're gonna have more space because mm. we're gonna have space under the cabinet and where is the actual gas tank and we're in gonna get rid of the two spare gas tank that are in the back. So a lot of space that you know <clears throat> when it's about a small van like ours that's that's great. Well it's priceless. All done? <laughs> and what can I say also the second upgrade finally we put the pop-up gas trap. I can actually do it now. Yeah, so that's great. You just use one finger and No, it just... it's not that easy. But... but for me it's one finger because I'm strong. Yeah, because but... he's because <laughs> he's Sicilian. <laughs> so now it's so easy to pop up. Mm. We're gonna put anyway the box and other stuff on the top, so we'll be a little bit more heavy, but still a lot easier and probably we're gonna use it a little bit more now that it's just now <laughs> 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 but 
But now, Belle took some nice picture while here this week and she's gonna tell you the story behind these pictures. So, walking down the main roads here is not nearly as easy as you would expect. Um, there are no sidewalks. It's overgrown and you can actually see machines like cutting the hedges for the cars to get by. But one of my favorite pictures from this week is an overgrown house that is completely hidden in one of the side parts of the road. You wouldn't even notice it if you weren't walking along. So that's the first one. The second one is me and team working. Actually, more team than me. I was looking, but no. We did work together. Thanks a lot, team. Um, so he helped me a lot uh, because he also got some extra tools. So he came here several times during the week uh, with the tools, with some pieces that we might need. So in the picture, we're actually cutting some steel. The last picture is of the countryside and it's pretty hilly here. Lots of hills. We are on the hill actually from Mark's house. There's a beautiful view. It's gorgeous and you can see for ages, but um, unfortunately I haven't taken any photos from there. I've taken photos from my walks, which were along country roads. And one of these shots is of the countryside. You can see the farmlands and they're kind of speckled green. Ew. <laughs> now the real catch up of the week. As you know, we have to work on the cylinder head. We bought one we found for $2.95 on internet. It arrived, everything seems fine, but it wasn't the correct one. We just actually watch the price and didn't watch that was for the ABL engine 1996-2003 and our van it's 1995. So there's a slight difference in the valve size. That was eventually the way to mechanically drill the entrance of the valves or eventually to buy new valves but it seems was more time consuming maybe not that precise so we found another head south of London to another shop, same price. We call uh, probably the biggest UK courier that absolutely promised that it will be here for the morning after. Liar, pants on fire, because oh, on, it's not here. Yes, it's not here yet and we don't know what happened, so we're not going to speak out. No, so today should arrive here and hopefully uh, in the next couple of days we're gonna be able to finish everything. I got another shout out for Matt from Van Life TV. Oh gosh, yes. So Man. I was uh, looking for tires as we want to put some all-terrain tires and uh, I was simply in Google uh, how to fit all-terrain tires on a T4 and came out Matt blog when he had the T4 and uh, uh, we are in contact we were supposed to meet up this weekend but because of our situation it wasn't possible so I sent him a message say well can you just give me more info about your tires you know which one and you know how you did all the conversion and Matt said well you know what you can have the tires <laughs> really yes well, he sold the T4 and he have another fan, so the tires are in his parents' place. Jeez, thank you. <laughs> so thank you, Matt. You finally almost get a synchro. Yeah, almost get a synchro and uh, after we finish here, because Matt is in Devon, we're gonna stop right there, stop to a tire service so we can do all the balance mm. and everything we need. Yeah, today we're gonna also lift the van, so, uh, and we're gonna offer a cider and a dinner to Matt in order to thank him for the great gift that he's gonna give us. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm so fun. <laughs> ah. You have to. You have to do that. Just keep it on. 
Part of our Monday catch-up is also what we do in our leisure time, the music we listen to, or for today, I think, we're gonna do two TV shows that we absolutely love. For me, my choice just today is Extras with Ricky Gervais. I love it because it is each person that we all know. For example, I've been watching a lot of other really bad sci-fi TV shows and uh, Patrick Stewart, who is Shakespearean trained actor. Um, in extras, he plays this womanizing, imagine every woman with her clothes falling off because of his like mind. And it cracks me up. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a great comedy. Part of our Monday ketchup. <laughs> My choice is for an amazing TV show called The Last Man on Earth. I found it on an app where I can stream movies and TV show. I'm not really a huge fan of TV show. I like movie, but this one, gosh, it was funny because in the night I was watching with my earphones and I and Mel she was sleeping and I started laughing. And he woke me up yeah. because he was <laughs> laughing so hard. It's, so if you are like his humor, you're gonna love hilarious. it. I mean it's about the last man on earth that met the last woman on earth that is not that he thought it was the yeah, last he thought but actually they're not the last people on earth but it's really amazing and um, it's four season each season, I think, 13 episodes, something like that. But mm. I think I watched it like in a week and was just like, more, more, more. <laughs> always, yeah. always. So these are our choices. Mm. If you find yourself in a rainy day inside a van that usually sucks, you can at least enjoy some nice and funny TV show. Parafa. <laughs> <laughs> So, last tip for T4 owners of Espana, California is how to have a hot shower in your van. So, we already created last year when we rebuilt the van the shower in the back, but this year, what we got? A boiler. So, after a long research on internet, I found this one for 150 pounds and it seems to me the smallest. Gas, it is the propane. most petite that is going to fit yeah. as far as like we can put it up and put it off. Yeah, so it's also got a handle and this one will go uh, at the back of the cabinet by opening the, the back door. Which is right next to the shower. E right? Yes, it's right next to the shower. So we're going to have to take it out plug, we have a fast plug in and out for the gas, for the water, and we will not be naked in the nature taking a shower. We got a shower tent. A shower tent. I will not take it out because it takes one second to pop it up and three hours to put it back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a little complex. We haven't got it down yet. It's brand new. But it's that high, it just fits under Super the Super private, door. it's got a zip, but you are completely concealed. Yeah, and uh, it doesn't have floor, but I like it. So all the water will just go down. Mm. Uh, and yeah, it was, I think, 16 pounds. So these are the upgrades that we put. I mean, it took seven years to get to. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's also, waiting on the main engine yeah so he's got time on his hands and he wants to use it for the greater good yeah but uh and that's my last best advice if you start building your van or upgrading your van don't think oh yeah i'm gonna have the perfect van because the perfect van doesn't exist uh, start living it, start traveling, it's and then it's always going to be an ongoing project. Yeah. Yes, and then you will see what you need or what you can get rid of. So that's the best piece of advice I can give for this week. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Ketchup. Ketchup. 
I'm doing the robot. I'm doing the robot. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you for watching our ketchup. <laughs> you couldn't. I'm doing the robot. <laughs> And the bull walking. <laughs> okay.